Virtual YouTuber YouTube created a platform for ordinary people to rise to prominence. Now the video sharing behemoth is witnessing yet another influx of new talent attempting to break into the glitzy entertainment industry. However, they aren't quite human. These performers are referred to as virtual YouTubers or VTubers, and they are represented by digital avatars that resemble anime characters. Virtual skills have proliferated rapidly over the past several months, almost exclusively a Japanese phenomenon at least so far, and industry insiders and analysts expect the movement will only intensify. In this video, we will tell you all you need to know about virtual YouTubers. Just before we start, make sure you are subscribed to our channel, also turn the notifications on to never miss any videos from us. Now, let's get started. History of Virtual YouTubers Kizuna AI, a Japanese VTuber, created a popularized phrase, virtual YouTuber, in 2016. While she wasn't the first to utilize a CG avatar for video blogging as that honors goes to Ami Yamato, she is nearly solely responsible for VTubers' trend's absurd appearance in Japan and eventually the rest of the world in late 2016. Because Kizuna AI grew in popularity so quickly, new VTubers began to appear on a regular basis. Some creators who had already established their platform and or displayed their faces on camera created VTuber versions of themselves simply to jump on the bandwagon. The strong interest in the VTubers led to the establishment of agencies mostly in Japan devoted to the creation and promotion of VTubers' personalities. Hololive Production, Niji Sanji, and V Sojo are some of the more well known companies. According to User Local, a Japanese data technology firm, there will be over 10,000 active VTubers on YouTube alone by 2020. Kizuna AI, who has the highest following of all VTubers on the internet at the time of writing, has over 10 million subscribers across all of her social media sites. What are virtual YouTubers and how do they work? Virtual YouTubers have a sizable following on YouTube. These idols or characters are digital representation of the entertainer who voices them. Some of these celebrities perform a dance routine while others converse with their fans and tell them about their day. In terms of entertainment, the options are unlimited and the community is growing even larger now that popular streamers have joined the trend. Unsuspecting users frequently come across these VTubers and are captivated by their realistic AI appearance. These idols also have big personalities and a lot of them have attractive anime-style faces. The entertainers behind these creatures utilize sophisticated technology to cause them to move, so they're a kind of virtual reality. Entertainers employ a variety of motion capture tools, including face rig, Vroid, and Live 2D to capture the AI's movement. They behave and speak in a human-like manner. Vloggers are usually people who speak directly to their viewers through the camera, giving things like beauty tips, product reviews, and pop culture rants. However, they have had to deal with VTubers like Kizuna AI in the last year. Kevin Aloka, YouTube's head of culture and trend says, We saw this start to take off right at the end of 2017, and it's continued to expand. He cites Kizuna AI's channel as an example of the VTuber's boom. It had roughly 200,000 subscribers in December of last year, but had more than 2 million barely 10 months later. According to Ernest Petty of Google, the number of daily views of VTuber videos this year is treble that of previous year. While there's no easy way to estimate the number of VTubers, user local, a Tokyo-based web analytics firm, estimates there are at least 4,000. Nekomiya Hinata, a peach-haired character that plays combat video games, throwing in Japanese pleasantries while blasting down adversaries is one of them. Another, Ami Yamato, a British virtual vlogger located in London who enjoys Starbucks and occasionally interacts with genuine people in the real world. She started vlogging in 2011. This isn't yet a global fad according to Aloka. VTubers are most popular in Japan. However, firms in that country have taken notice of the futuristic videos and are eager to assist these characters gain recognition outside YouTube.
What is the main purpose of virtual YouTubers? It's comparable to what human YouTubers do, such as recording themselves playing video games, experimenting with new apps, singing, dancing, and live streaming their conversations with the viewers. They are, of course, manufactured and managed by people who use motion capture and recording technologies to make the avatars mimic their own motions and voices. The smoothness with which the avatars move varies by VTuber. Some are three-dimensional characters with fluid gestures and changeable facial expressions that mimic emotions, while others are more rudimentary. Until now, the majority of successful virtual YouTubers have been cute female figures. Their primary arena of competition is YouTube. But individuals who have achieved success host live events in the real world and have begun to appear on television show. How quickly are virtual YouTubers gaining popularity? User Local Incorporated, a Tokyo-based data research firm, revealed last week that the number of VTubers had surpassed 4,000. Only a few years ago, the number was approximately 2,000. With almost 2 million followers, according to User Local, which also gathers virtual YouTubers' rankings, the character Kizuna AI has the largest fan base. With 750,000 followers, Kaguya Luna is in second place, followed by Mirai Akari with roughly 625,000. Although the figures are still minor when compared to the top Japanese human YouTubers who have over 6 million followers, Kizuna AI already outnumbers several well-known YouTubers, such as Tsuyoshi Kozanagi, a former member of boy band SMAP who has about 785,000 subscribers to his channel. Could they possibly take the place of human YouTubers? First, let us consider why are human vloggers being replaced in the first place. After all, vlogging is one of the most inexpensive way to create video. Just turn on the camera, talk, and post. While there will be some editing, there will be no expensive effects or set design. Why would you want to duplicate a talking head with a more expensive version? It's because virtual characters can be used in ways that human characters can. They can appear in video games and apps outside YouTube. And as VR and AR technology advances, they may even be able to perform virtual reality concerts. Rat and Link, an American comedy team, release a vlog that have been viewed 2.5 million times expressing concerns that virtual YouTubers could eventually replace humans. Obviously, they don't grow tired at all. Their appearances can be adjusted on the spur of the moment. They never ask for money or more Patreon donations. But fear not, humans. There are cheaper, lower-quality programs available for YouTubers to utilize on their iPhones to create virtual vloggers. FaceRig, a Romanian crowd-funded facial recognition program, is a low-cost means for individuals to convert their facial expressions into digital cartoons and animals on their smartphone akin to Apple's Animoji. Gree is introducing a live streaming app this fall that allows people to make a VTubers of themselves using their smartphone. What does it take to become a virtual YouTuber? Investing a lot of money in supplies or equipment for your virtual YouTuber setup isn't essential, just like it isn't required for any other creative endeavor. Buying such items may yield greater results if you know how to utilize them effectively, but becoming a VTuber may be done for a very little money, if at all. Selecting a model to become a virtual YouTuber, you'll obviously need a model to play the role of your online persona. There are several other ways to do this, but Live 2D is the most popular among elite VTubers. Assume you already have a two-dimensional illustrations, perhaps a drawing that you made yourself or commissioned from an artist. You can utilize Live 2D's features to provide the impression that your character is moving around in 3D space with limited movement and facial expression changes. How to make your model move? A model must be set up before it can move. In computer graphics, rigging is a process of generating and connecting a rig or bone structure to a model, which can subsequently be animated. This usually entails splitting an image into the portions you want to move when working in 2D. The bad news is that rigging does not have a standardized workflow. Although it varies with every application, there are numerous tutorials available online, particularly on YouTube. You will need to set up a webcam to track your movements once you've created a rigged model. As a result, your model will always match you when you move. 
The majority of VTubers just track their faces, but hand movements are becoming increasingly prevalent. That's all for this video. We hope you enjoyed. If yes, then give us a thumbs up. Also, share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. See you all in another video. Till then, stay tuned with us.